Hey dumplings, it's Dave the Sai. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about some light and fun tea for you here. I hope all you guys are doing well, taking care of yourself and staying happy and positive. Hopefully this video can be an escape for you and make you feel a little bit better if you are feeling down. We apparently found V flirting slash cheating, whatever you want to call it, with a married man, sort of. We'll talk about it. I'll get into it. It is hilarious. We also have a bit of thoughts on where Sugar was on the latest music video. So I want to get into both of these teas and topics here today. And of course my thoughts and all that stuff. And at any point, if you have specific thoughts that you would like to say, you can leave it in the comments down below. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you be notified anytime a new video drops. If you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. Let's start with talking about V and his flirtatious flirtiness. My zaddy be flirting with everyone except me. He never flirts my way. Like, hello, hi, I'm open for some flirtatious winks. Send them over here. Can I get a flirtatious wink on the side of your next album? But before we get into the flirtatiousness that has happened recently, I do have to give a little bit of context on what has been going on to get you caught up. A little backstory to the tea, a little tea before tea. V is very flirtatious and flirts with armies quite a bit. He flirts all the time and he flirts with armies in the way where an army would say something and his reply would be something very flirtatious, a wink, something kind of naughty. Either way, it's him kind of flirting. And this type of flirty thing can be found on Weavers. So if you go over there on Weavers and you would like to have a flirty day, then you'll be able to see all of the flirtiness that exists there. Also, that is the best place to get in touch with V, so he is very active on there. Weverse is a Korean social media site, just so you know. Apparently, it's the site that I think BTS feels the most comfortable on because they are the most active on it. I would describe Weverse as kind of like an old Facebook, that kind of layout. And then obviously, the make a post and then leave a comment and then respond to the comment, all that stuff is the same. So definitely go over there if you want to talk with V, flirt with V, have a little bit of a moment with V. I haven't gotten any luck myself with some flirtatious attitude back to me. Also, I don't know Korean. So if you're a Korean, go ahead. This is your moment. V definitely likes to tease armies quite a bit. There's a situation where V posted a shirtless pic and he captioned it like 30 seconds or something like that, basically insinuating that armies had 30 seconds to kind of save the picture before the picture was going to be taken down. And of course, after that time, he did end up deleting the photo. And this is very obvious how he flirts. He likes to send shirtless pictures. Oh dear God. Oh my. Naughty, naughty. He teases armies with photos like this and of course winks. Zaddy needs to chill before armies die. What was even more funny was that recently an army asked Taeyang if Taeyang would like to marry them. I don't know if it was a her, was it a her? I'm not sure. I'm going to call it a her. But this was asked on Weavers and V responded sternly and very, very confidently, no. Oof. Oof. Just slap me. When I tell you every army felt this in the pit of their soul, I mean that. Every army, whoever wanted to ever marry V, has felt this. And their soul is now crushed because of this one army's question and then V's response. Like if he crushed one army's soul, he's ready to crush 50,000 other army souls that want to also marry him. But Tan's gonna say no. Because as Tan likes to say, in our imagination, it's not good in there. But you know what? Even though it's not true, I like to imagine. I like to have this imagination of getting married to Tay. Like I can definitely dream us getting married by the riverside, him pulling my veil off, me and my beautiful white wedding dress. What? But now that he rejected an army, that dream is dead. I'll never be in a white wedding dress. I ain't doing a white wedding dress for anyone else. But just about two days ago, an army actually posted on Weavers this and then Tay actually responded. The army wrote, oh, our Taeyang, I love you more than I love my husband. My husband is jealous beside me. Ooh, boy. Ooh, we're getting spicy in here. Now this is something that's very much universally accepted by anyone who marries someone who is an army. The partner will usually understand that the other partner that they are marrying will very much leave them for BTS and that they will usually be the third wheel to BTS. And the husband or the wife or whatever has to be okay with that. It's part of their contractual agreement when they get married. You can go to BTS's website and print one out yourself. I'm kidding. But Taehyung actually did respond to this comment, which makes it even more funny. Now, instead of just sternly saying, no, don't think about me, love your husband more, stop. He wrote husband and then flirty emoji. Tae, stop, what are you doing? You can't flirt with someone's man like that. I'm starting to think that Taehyung likes people who don't actually like him. Him. Hear me out. For example, the husband is obviously jealous of Taeyang, so maybe he doesn't like Taeyang that much. But then Taeyang's like, I like you, and then flirts with him. But then when someone shows affection, like an army saying, will you take my hand in marriage, Taeyang's like, nah, be you ugly, no cap. He didn't say that, of course, I'm joking. I wonder if the husband found out about this. Like, I wonder if the wife said that to the husband, oh my god, Taeyang likes you. I personally, if I was the husband, I would start blushing. Like, I'd feel so embarrassed and weird. <laughs> 
And I had to know, like I had to know what armies were going to be saying about this. So I decided to hop over on the tweetster. Our Twitter user is called birds. Like are y'all tweeters birds? Anyway, one army actually wrote, married army telling Tae that her husband is jealous of Tae and Tae literally flirting with the husband is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love a confident man. That boy Tae ooh, that's one heck of a flirty boy. I totally would not mind if Tae decided to flirt with my partner. If my partner likes you, Tae you can have them. I'd be quite mad actually if my partner did didn't flirt back. But also, Tan can then be the third person in the relationship. If you would like to join the relationship, we can always make room for Taeyang. Some of these tweets are literally to die for and hilarious. We also have this Twitter army saying this. They wrote, Tan saying no to the marriage proposal, but hitting us with that husband and then those emojis. He really said, I won't be your husband, but I'll sure take yours. He really out here trying to take people's husbands. And you know what? I'm okay with that. So I just need to find someone so then I can become the husband. And so Tan will then take me. Probably not, given the fact that, um, my face. But one can dream. A lot of armies are just screaming and freaking out over this. Totally understandable. I am totally freaking out with you. Another user talked about Taehyung's jokes. And they wrote, The way Taehyung shut down all our jokes about BTS stealing armies from their significant other, when Taehyung is out here flirting with an army's husband. I cannot deal. <laughs> He's literally the funniest guy ever. I love it so much. Now, army wives, go hide your husbands because Taeyang, he's on his way to steal yours. Taeyang will get you too. Taeyang was, of course, receiving a lot of fun and happy attention over this. And of course, people loved the comment. Suga was also receiving a lot of comments for his latest music video with IU in it. Or it's actually, Suga was supposed to be in IU's music video since Suga is the featured one. This, of course, is IU's music video for 8. I can't even explain how good the song is. When the teaser was dropped, IU was, of course, in the teaser and Suga was not in the teaser at all. But a lot of armies were in anticipating that he might be in the actual music video. And you know what? I kind of was hoping too. I was expecting like, okay, well, he's not in the teaser, but maybe he'll make an appearance in the music video. But when the music video dropped, it was IU and Sugar was not in it. I was disappointed at first, don't get me wrong, but it definitely makes a lot of sense that Sugar was not in it. Let me explain. With obviously the current situation in the world, perhaps Sugar couldn't make it over to IU to actually film the music video. They obviously couldn't meet in person because social distancing. We also don't know when the music video was shot. Maybe it was shot during the time of quarantine. Maybe it was actually shot a little bit before then. And it could have been difficult for Sugar to do the music video even then because BTS was probably practicing for their tour. BTS was probably promoting their newest songs on TV, interviews, and stuff like that. Sugar, of course, has not talked about this and not openly said anything from what I'm aware of yet. But of course, there are armies in general talking about this. One Twitter user actually wrote this. For those who are complaining why Sugar is not on the music video for 8, someone did this. Still very proud for Sugar's collab with IU. So much love for Sugar X IU. And then three beautiful purple hearts. But of course, armies didn't just leave it at that and said, oh, well, well, Sugar's not in the music video, whatever. They went to look for him to make sure he was indeed not in the music video. And armies do believe, and I do believe as well, that they found him. Armies are detectives, as I mentioned. They literally look at everything with a magnifying glass. And they found something a bit interesting. I don't know how true this is. Obviously, IU or Sugar has not come out and said this, but I do believe the theory. I think it is a very interesting one, and I think armies are onto something. But armies are saying that Sugar was actually in the music video. He was just hidden in the scene where you saw the airplane. So if you look a little bit more carefully in this scene, there's a guy holding a phone and the phone has a picture of IU in it. But if you look very carefully, the guy has rings on his hand and it's similar to rings that Suga always wears. It's this double band type of ring and it usually has like ARMY's name on it or BTS's names on it. People think that that guy holding the phone was supposed to be Suga or was supposed to at least represent Suga. So since he couldn't physically make it to the set, he would still be there in kind of a representation of him. And that ring is of course open for sale. Like it's not like Suga has it and no one else has it. You can literally go to like the Weaver shop and literally buy the merch and find like this double band ring there. Not sponsored, I just thought I would mention it in case you wanted the ring. But I am assuming that IU did purchase the ring to make sure that Suga at least kind of appeared in the song and in the music video. It's a very cute and kind gesture. I really, really like it. But keep in mind that this is IU's song. And there's nothing wrong with, of course, wanting Suga in the song since he was a part of the collaboration. But if he is not in the actual music video, it is okay. Because this is kind of IU's moment and IU's moment to shine. And as long as she was in the music video, that is what matters. And I really, really do hope IU does more with Suga. I'm really really hoping for like an IU Sugar album. I think it would sound so beautiful. Like this song sounds so angelic. For them to have a whole album, probably just gonna listen to it before I go to bed and then just, I literally need more of that in my life. Let me know what you think about this and let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for coming.
And as always, I do have a Patreon if you would like to kind of go over there and contribute back to this channel. It really does help me kind of make videos on this channel, keep them better, spend more time making them. So I really do appreciate if you can go over there and contribute. Anything you can contribute really does help. You can also get exclusive content over there, such as music video reactions, performance reactions, and ship reactions, all on my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the top of the description down below so you can check it out. But also, if you'd like to just check out some of my other videos, you can definitely do so. There's two videos that will pop up on the end of the screen on this video. So please make sure you click on one of those, and I will see you over there. Bye.